Well, this is going to be fun. That's my gentle way of starting the episode. Welcome to Discretion Advice. I'm John Hill. I've been told to maybe be cooler, sexier, and more chill when we start the show or when we bring people back in from break. I don't know. How am I doing, Mark McNamara? Not great, bitch. Okay. Uh, well, I'm trying to match your energy because we, as you, uh, as everyone knows, you are depleted. You're on the other side of the globe. You're on, uh, let's see, you're in Africa. I, I want to, do you even know where I am? You have heard me talk about geography. I don't know where, uh, like. You don't know where you're at, probably. I, I don't know where, I mean, I know I'm, you know, in California somewhere. No, aren't you in Africa? You're in an island. Uh, Yeah, it's not considered Africa, though. I'm in the Canary Islands. I'm in Lanzarote. Uh, This is our very last day of filming. I have been filming every single day since I last talked to you in Paris. We filmed in Barcelona, and then we we filmed uh, for seven days here in Lanzarote. And today is our very last day, so I finally have a day off tomorrow where I get to fly home. And I know you don't want to get too deeply into it, but has it been a great Mm -hmm. trip? I filmed someone barfing on a dick, but that was a first. I find that hard to believe. Isn't that a That's, hazard of the trade? Um, no, and surprisingly, it was not Cade Maddox, who does not want to suck a dick. This person wanted to suck a dick, but they were too enthusiastic about shoving it all the way down their esophagus. Um, and then they barfed, and it was on camera. And that was Cameron. But other than that, and that was just, that was Cameron, our producer. It was yes, all that Lanzarotian cuisine. Suck and barf. Well, I can't wait for the, to have you back in the States, you know? I want you back home. But you do look very, uh, well, you're on a beach. Are, are, are you not right now? You, you look glow. Yes, you're, you're basking the fun in thing the about sunlight. The beach, you're outside. Yes. I can hear I the outside. birds chirping. I'm taking it in to add the outdoor presence for one more one more night. Yeah, the beaches here are have this beautiful, uh, the orange sand, because it, it's just <sighs> dust or sand that has blown over from the Sahara. And so <gasps> that's what the beaches are for. And we're on a volcanic island. I'm sorry I'm if I'm boring for you. you. I'm enjoying. I'm really happy that you're on this exotic fucking vacation. And I'm in my kitchen on, on, you know I'm on a vacation Jan, with you know my white Jan refrigerator. Told me, that Jan told me that you still haven't put veneers on your bottom teeth. My God, honestly, like I don't even take offense to that because it's so damn true. And, you know, I am going to get implants, though, not on my titties. But I am to get them in, in, in the back there so they can have a full bottom row of teeth. Speaking um, of uh, a bottom row of teeth, uh, did you, I heard you went on a little date, but you didn't tell me anything about it. Oh, yeah. What it's happened? not that exciting. What is exciting is that I did hear from a fan, uh, and that's a good thing. And that's to, what we're talking about today. This to is a fan episode. Uh, because, uh, yeah, this is our fan episode talking about people who listen to the pod, people who write us, people who love us, hate us, and everything in between. Uh, but I did hear from someone who I, I posted a cute photo, what I thought was a cute photo, in your hoodie. And some kid wrote, I feel like you don't know how to fuck. And I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and I posted that DM. And this guy who I've kind of been flirting with wrote, uh, is that true? And I was like, yeah, it is. And he's like, prove it. I was like, oh, okay, this is a good um, strategy because I'll just, I'll hook up with someone with the intent of proving how bad I am in bed. And then like expectations will be low and I'll, you know, do a great job. Anyway, so we went with out with leg- intention. Sorry, go ahead. I'll okay, get back to your legs. So I thought it was a good idea to just take this guy out and just say, you know, hey, let's see what happens. Maybe I'll be terrible in bed. Maybe I'll be great. Uh, the the bad ending of the story is we didn't hook up. Was he intimidated by your legs? No, we didn't even get that far. We just I took him I took him home in my Volkswagen Taos, and I said, "I'll see you next time." <laughs> and then we kissed twice. That's what you said when you said goodbye to this guy after you went on a date. I'll see you next time. Well, I don't know if I said that exactly, but I was like, "Listen, bye." I said, white wine. <laughs> do you think your legs are big enough to like crush a watermelon? Yeah, I do. Have you ever done it? No. Does a person count as a watermelon? Uh, no, I can. That sounds like a dick. Can I be, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly real, real tired. And I just want to be entertained. Tell. What can are you eating? Quick, um, gummy bears. But what I just saw is that they're jelly vegans. Like in, in, in Lanzarote, I guess they're vegan gummy bears. Like what the fuck is an American gummy bears? Meatloaf? Why does it say vegan on it? Anyways, How much peyote I just want to be entertained. 
I just want to okay. be entertained. Can you just, uh, can I just, can we, you want to play Truth or Dare? <laughs> yeah, let's do can it. Do okay, that? I'll do you first. Truth or Dare? Okay. Whatever one you want me to pick. Uh, okay, you'll do Dare. Okay. Go on your phone right now. Mm-hmm. Open up Instagram. Okay. Yeah, so you know, as you notice, my phone doesn't have a case because someone in Paris stole my fucking phone case. Who steals a phone case and not a phone? Anyways, go ahead. Instagram on it. Okay, go to Kathy Hilton's profile. Kathy Hilton. Hopefully she didn't block me. You know Kyle has me blocked. <laughs> we got in a fight oh, once. <laughs> a fight? Are you a troll? No. I know the answer to that. Yeah. Okay, go to the last photo she posted. Okay, it's a group shot of the gals. Great. Now go to the comments, and you're going to comment what I write, what I, what I tell you. You're going to write what I tell you. Okay, Kathy Hilton on it. Okay, write these words. Mommy. Mm-hmm. Mommy. Baby needy milk. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Baby needy, needy milk. Baby needy milk? Baby needy milky. <laughs> milky. <laughs> baby baby thirsty, mommy. Yeah. Baby thirsty. Oh, my God. She's going to call the police on me. Baby thirsty, mommy. Yeah. Now read it back to me. Mommy, baby needy milky. Baby thirsty, mommy. Post. Post. Thank you. Now, screenshot oh, that. It. Send it to Cameron. Okay. <laughs> we're going to post okay, that. Okay, John, good job. truth or dare? Truth. If we had sex and you were about to come, where do you want to come on me, in me, around me? Oh, tits. Okay. Tits, and then I'd stick it in your butt with what's left. Oh, my God. With what's left. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the name of my porn what's left of me <laughs> what's left what's left is going in your ass okay john truth or dare actually my porn will be called mommy needy milky give me mommy milky <laughs> <laughs> i can't uh, wait for okay. i hope she comments wait why do i get two show. because uh, we're doing two truth. each true oh, shit All did right, you do two again. truths in a row you're yeah, so boring dare, dare. okay <gasps> I need you to call somebody, anybody of your choice, and tender swindle them. I need you to tell them that you have been un, untruthful about your financial status, and you need a thousand dollars Venmo to you immediately. And I want to see this Venmo of a thousand dollars in your account. Go tender. Oh, I'm swindle. not going to get that from anybody. No, next. you don't know anybody with a thousand dollars. You better the- get on that tender swindle. Kathy Hilton is milk feeding me. Swindle somebody, bitch. No, that's fine. I'm not going to Tinder swindle anybody. Um, I will oh. call someone and say, I got Tinder swindled. Can you help me? Because I accidentally. No, I'm already gave bored it. with that. Okay. Fine. I, you know what? You are a Broadway star and legend, okay. and you've yet to sing on this podcast. Sing me something. And if you say, I'm not going to do that either, then you're. No, I'll do that. That's acceptable. But um, I need some direction. I think maybe, should I make up a song? Yeah. No, sing something. No, I don't want you to make up a song. I want you to sing a real song. Like some Adele. Okay, I'm going to sing Stars from Les Miserables, but I'm going to sing porn words into it. Okay. Okay. Give me some porn words that I'll put into the lyrics. As if you don't know porn words. No, just like throw them out. Dick, come, feet, fart. Dick, come in your butthole, sit on my nuts, shoot on my titties. Mark is a whore, he, he eats his own corn. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do more. Mark's in Africa. Sucking the locals, shitting on kids. Where is your mother? Give me uh, DNA. I'm, this is why Hugh Jackman that? didn't fuck you. This is why Ew. Hugh Jackman didn't fuck you. You know what? I've been up since five. That was Spunk. good. I oh, thank that. you, Cameron. You know what? Thank Did you, he Cameron. He was chatting me poor. Knuckles, fist, spunk. Okay, let's do thotty toppies. Yeah, these vegan gummy bears. What we got? Vegan peyote gummy bears. All right, here we go. Thotty toppies. Here's the news from uh, the mainland while you're in the motherland. <laughs> Jesse Williams, who's an actor, he's on Broadway and Take Me Out. Uh, did you see these photos of his uh, penis that got leaked? Of course I saw them. I took Thoughts them. as a porn director? Um, well, 
twofold. One, mother may I, like he looks amazing and everything is lovely. Two, I also feel, never mind, there's gonna be three points. Two, I feel really bad, like you shouldn't take pictures of someone naked without their consent. Have, having had that happen to me, I know how it feels and it's not great. Um, but three, glad you did. Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> do you hear what you did to my voice? Broadway's Second Stage Theater, which is the company uh, that's producing the play, they said they're really pissed, you know? And they're adding security to the theater. They're appalled. They say it's gross, which is true. It's like, this is an art piece. You're not there to see the yes, penis. Yes, it is. You kind of are. All right. It is not It is a piece of art. Anyway, put your phones away. Listen to Patti Lapone. Um, I'm going to skip a couple of these. Have you seen Britney's latest nude pics? Do you think it's a cry for help? I don't know. I think, like, give her a fucking break. Let her do whatever she wants. She was basically in prison for all these years when everyone started to use Instagram and started to use weird filters and explore and post new things and, like, people posting of their stupid food and shit. Like, let Britney learn how to live in society for a second. Let her have the training wheels on and let her fall a few times. Like, we don't need to jump on every little fucking thing she does and say that it's a cry for help. Leave Britney alone. I think it's a cry for help. I also like that whenever we... we I like when you get on a tear. Cameron does, um, like, a pointy Love finger a tear dance. Too. Yeah, I, he gets he's really into it. And, like, that's when how he wants know. us to wrap up, he does this little thing with his finger. We won't tell you exactly what, but... It's kinky. We need to talk about Madonna revealing her fully nude NFTs and a 3D model of her vagina. Now, you work with porn stars who make, what, like, chocolate replicas of their of their asses and stuff. Like, what do you think? Wait, speaking of chocolate, quick sidebar on chocolate. There's a, when, you, when you park here in Lanzarote, you had to put a piece of paper that has the uh, time on it. And we parked and we didn't have anything to write on. So, uh, Rusty used chocolate he dipped his finger in chocolate and wrote the time on a piece of paper and i'm thinking the police officer who comes and checks us is going to think that we wrote our time and shit sorry what were you saying about madonna speaking of madonna's vagina uh it's called mother of creation it's an nft collection which will be sold for charity and it includes a 3d model of madonna's vagina which is on full display in cartoon form on the collection's highly don't say we didn't warn you nsfw website i've seen madonna's pussy um, I don't know if I can say how. Well, I can say how, because I'm not saying who. A friend of mine was a photographer for her, and uh, not a photographer, a retoucher, and he had all these unretouched photos, and there was a couple where her plucked chicken was just hanging out the side. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman, as you know, she always has been and always will be. But she was wearing this, like, whoever got her ready that day really just wanted to fuck her up because her wig was not on right and her pussy was hanging out the side. So I've seen enough of Madonna's pussy in real life. I don't need the N, F, or the T. Wow. Okay, well, I'm just kind of reading. Um, these are good. Yeah, Mother of Great. Nature and is a lot while of you okay, read. butterflies. No, I'm just I'm just fascinated by the NFTs and about how okay. there's uh, butterflies surrounding the uh, vagina itself. Okay, anyway, I would like to have her a replica of her vagina at home. And I would like a replica of your butt uh, just to sleep next to me on my pillow uh, at night to keep me company. You know, who needs a boyfriend pillow when I can have Mark McNamara's a chocolate ball sack? Okay, so we'll All be right. right back with Devin Franco. <laughs> our worst episode of all time <laughs> i don't think so i mean i hope not okay welcome back to the show we are uh gosh it always um just hits me in the face mark and i are tired you, just, you always Hill. come back in so quick like do you <sighs> come really quick you know you what like a premature guy because you, you you seem like you might be you know you always got to bring it back to sex don't you as long as you can go for a second round, I'm okay with the fast comer. Aww. And that the voice you're hearing is <laughs> Devin, Devin Franco, uh, porn superstar. Hi, Devin. I, by the way, first of all, yes, I come quick. That's fine. And I just am leaning into it. And also, um, Don't lean too I'm quick. trying to start the show with energy. You know, I'm trying to get us. Okay. And he shot us. Crick, Hi, Devin. On that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Where um, are you, Devin? Are you in Los Angeles? I am. 
Yeah, I'm in Santa Monica specifically. Oh, Can I ask you, you right off the get, like, how did you get started in porn? Like, what made you say, you know what, my butthole needs screen time? Like, what what was the process for you? Um, I was working at a office desk job that I hated, and I just was like, I'd rather be doing porn than. <laughs> did you have? And were I was you a horny writing, person. I'd, were you like super horny all the time? Oh, totally. And okay. and I wanted to do it since like before I graduated college. Um, and I just got to the point where I was like, why am I, you know, putting myself through all of this bullshit, uh, of like doing all this shit that I don't like, like, just go do what I want <laughs> and it ended up being way better. Um, but I, I, I just went on a couple studio websites and like went to the model application section and, and sent off a few applications and uh lucas entertainment was the only one that got back to me so and that was who i first signed with and what was your first film well uh it was in greece with um the first scene i did was with i think his name was alex koff or something like that but the first scene that was released was with um Oh my God! Now my name is Adam Killian. What did you go to college for? I got my. I ended up starting studying wildlife science, and I did that for a couple of years. And I switched it over to English with a uh, emphasis in creative writing. I. That's my degree is in creative writing. Oh hell yeah! Awesome. That's so funny. Look John, at us. I don't have a story degree to school. <laughs> 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 well that's okay uh devin do you watch porn what type of porn do you personally watch um you know since i've gotten into porn i don't really get off to like porn porn as much anymore i look at a lot of like i don't know guys like working out or, or like bodybuilders flexing that's kind of been my porn lately <laughs> um but i like i love like uh you know, looking at GIFs with captions, like, you know, people, like, will make Wait, up, you're like, jerking little... off to GIFs? To GIFs? Oh, yeah, totally. Like, I I hardly watch videos anymore of, like... <laughs> what of, like, cats getting, getting baths? Baths? I love, like, seeing, like, you know, on Tumblr, when Tumblr was good, uh, they would have, like, GIFs, and people would write, like, little, like, short caption fantasy stories. Uh, and, like, I would just get off to that. And <laughs> I'm, so you I, like wow. something quick and to the point yeah like and it, it's like and they get they're very specific like <laughs> could you imagine if i got to go to work and film a scene and when it was it was just a gif i just had to film for two seconds that day because that's all it takes <laughs> to get people off right you just find that one magic moment in a 30 30 minute video <laughs> John, Devin, do you, you have a boyfriend are you a single guy I do. I'm I'm dating Felix Fox at the moment. What? Yeah, we've oh been we've God. been dating for a year. A for a year. year. Yeah. I get okay because I filmed. I've only filmed him once, and it was more than a year ago. So that was right before you came and stole his heart. And came and came again. <laughs> <laughs> now, Devin, because you worked in you've worked in porn for how long now? Ah, it's been like six years now. Yeah, six years in March. I started in 2016. Okay, so you've now, you're dating someone who's in the industry. Before that, when you were going on a date, did you find that people had like preconceived notions of you sexually because of your job? Like they expected you to know, be You know, I was never, way? I, my entire time that I've been in porn, I was never like, I never really went on dates. I was never like looking for a boyfriend. Like uh, Felix just like showed up, and and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, I I've I've never been someone who like is actively like dating and seeking someone. Um, and so like I was I I just was like I was all about like p- making porn and, and being a playboy. <laughs> so now that you've been together for a year, do you guys say the L word? Oh yeah, definitely. <gasps> Who said it first? I, I was I I I think I said it first, and then um, 
but it was kind of like you know over the phone like like i was just like i love you and he was like oh like he he got like really like uh blushy and like um and everything but uh but he didn't say it back and so i was like oh shit like i was nervous and then like later uh he said it again he said it back and and uh yeah yeah it was, it was, and we've just been telling each other we love each other ever since <laughs> john are you like uncomfortable by this i'm like just thinking of the gif i'm gonna make yeah uh i love I'm not, gif yeah, I love the gifts. I'm still stuck on just watching a gif, like of all the things you could watch to fantasize about. Gift. But I love that. You know, I want I you to send it. Gifts. Can you please send us one, and we'll post it. Can we post a giphy? Like, are they dirty shit? Is it like X-rated? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, I mean, okay. sometimes it's just like a guy like flexing or like you know making his send us a down, send us a, like, an Instagram worthy one that we could post at at Discord Pod so people can see what kind of gifts. Devin Franco is jerking off to when Felix is out of town. <laughs> okay, I, I think I could find something good. Hey, uh, what kind of fans do you have? Do you have a good relationship with your fans? Have you ever fucked a fan? Do you get crazy DMs all the time? Um, I've definitely fucked a fan before. I get DMs all the time. Um, I've Lately, I've been bad about checking my DMs, but I've been getting more uh, active on my social media again. So I've been checking on those, but I've got great, amazing fans. I have like, they're come from all walks of life. I have a lot of like fans who are artists and they like draw pictures of me and send it to me. And it's like, they're all really awesome. Um, and like, I I love to like post them and, and share them when they send those. Um, but yeah, I like, I've got awesome fans. Are you ever from out all in over the world too? Well, uh, yeah. Are you ever out in public and like someone comes up to you and it's like, uh, so you like my butthole? Like it's just. <laughs> kind of it's mean. always some sort of like, uh, like oh, I love your work, or like, um, you know, they'll do a little fist pump, kind of like because you know, <laughs> they know you like fisting. Out. Yeah, exactly. Got it. <laughs> But I, I had uh, one time I was sitting on an airplane and the flight attendant comes and, and crouches by next to me because I'm in the aisle and I'm like, oh, shit, I did something wrong. Like what? Like they, they know I have like my vape pen on me or <laughs> something <laughs> like that. And I was like, uh, and he was like, I, by the way, I just wanted to say I love your work. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Wow. And that are was you like, always, I, are you always aisle seat or are you ever window? Oh, I prefer aisle for sure because I can just get up and go to the bathroom whenever I need. Okay, and then it's easier to just get out of the plane first too. That's true. Did and um, of all your features, speaking bathroom? of your butthole, are you fame? What do you think you're most famous for? Uh, like your butthole or your left titty? I'd say, like my my butt and butthole in combination. Along okay, with a like, combo platter, you know, this like golden handsome around. mug. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't think s- s- people expect someone uh, like as like innocent and and handsome as me to be do all the crazy extreme things that I like to do, <laughs> and I like that juxtaposition. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I saw a fan actually put a dildo in your butt on stage in at Play Live in New York City. That was a fun day. Hell yeah. I love that. That was that was a lot of fun. And Devin's <laughs> gonna be at the first play in Fire Island, May twenty sixth. So if you wanna see him live, May twenty sixth, Fire Island. All right, you guys Woo! ready for a game? We're gonna play yeah, Are yes. You Smarter Within a Porn Star? I'm gonna ask you a question. Whoever screams it first gets the point. And whoever wins in the end will get um A new fridge. I have no idea. A, a new fridge, a new <laughs> Devin, you're gonna win this by the way. I'm legendarily stupid. Okay, Mark, let's go. <laughs> okay. How question number one, how many weeks in a year? 52. 52. <laughs> Am I wrong? John's little box blew up blue first, so I'm giving that to him. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think you're gonna do that. Okay, question number two. Um, what's the biggest island in the world? Australia. Australia. You're both wrong. New, New Zealand. Guess. No, uh, it's Greenland bunch of oh. idiots oh yeah you were about okay, to say another word well no, actually no. technically it's antarctica but 
<laughs> well, that's, I would don't think that's considered an island, I guess, because of the it's size. It's a continent, but yeah. There you go. What's the largest ocean? Pacific. Atlantic. Pacific. <laughs> oh, it's a tied game. One to one. All right. Which mosquitoes bite, male or female? Female. Female. You're both wrong. It's male. Uh, I swear to God, God, it is female. It is not. <laughs> Google. <laughs> I I did Google it because you asked me on that on stage, and oh, I, asked I, you I said female, and I went home and googled it because I knew I was right, and it's totally female. Okay, hold and on. And actually, I watched Cameron, the whole. Cameron, Google this while we're doing this. I watched the whole documentary on it. In it Florida is female. About how they're okay. getting the male mosquitoes some sort of like genetic modification so that when they mate with the females any females that are born are sterile because females are the ones that bite and so they want to get rid of them this also makes me concerned for the things that i say that people actually listen to and then follow up on so congratulations <laughs> on that and i'm gonna watch what i say from now on okay so Devin has two points john has one point because he is stupid like me um how many dots on a pair of dice 12. Oh, oh, we've had this before. Shit. This was, you had, oh my God. Hold on. On a pair of dice. 16? No. It's, hold on. There's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, Shut up. 14, you don't know. 15, it's 14, 42. 18, 20. Take, oh my take God. Line, bitch, but not 21 that. plus two. <laughs> 41 plus two? Can you even No, count? 21 times two. Okay, well that's 21 true. plus 21. There you go. How many sides on an octagon? Eight. Devin said it first. John, if you don't... No, he did not, question, you lying bitch. Ate my ass. <laughs> oh. Last question. How many teeth does an aardvark have? None. <gasps> Shit. I would say that is probably Shit. correct. Okay, so it's a tie game. That means tiebreaker question. What's the capital of Florida? Tallahassee. Saint Devin wins. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right, Devin, you get a year's supply of hot gifts at hotgifts.com. Hell yeah. <laughs> Be coming all day. <laughs> Plus. All right. Thank you so much, Evan. We can watch your movies on Falcon Naked Sword, and we'll be right back with, uh, what is it? Fag hag mail fag? Fag yeah. mail? We're going to be reading uh, bad she mean questions awesome. and answering shit from you guys. Talking more <laughs> about fans when we come back. Welcome back to Discretion Advised. We are continuing on our fan episode with one of my biggest fans, John Hill. That's Hi, right. John. Hi. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, so we're gonna we're gonna read some. What is this? Mean tweets or mean comments? So not all fans are good fans. Some fans are mean motherfucking cocksucker son of a bitches. And let's read through a few. Okay. Okay. Now I don't have this the TikTok, will be great but for myself, Cameron. Too who is only 14, does have the TikTok. So he's reached a comment on there, and the comment is as such. John is an absolute dumbass. Good Lord. Good he's pretty. Good he's, Good pretty. he's pretty. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> That's it. Good. I'll okay, take so it. you guys are in <laughs> agreement. The next comment is as follows. From TikTok as well. Maybe this is written by Cameron. It's a comment about Mark saying that he doesn't care about Euphoria, Celebrity Big Brother, or Encanto. The comments are, this dude sucks. Why is this being discussed with a 50-year-old? It's not like the shows are for him. Do people think we are actually 50? Bitch, why are you discussing me? It looks like I'm not for you. So you can't give a read if it's reflexive. If people, someone can turn it right back around on you. What's reflexive? It's, uh, it's... English uh-huh. for Encanto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for the record, I never saw Encanto. I just don't like that Bruno song. I don't think that that's the one that should have been made famous God, out of all the so great old. Disney songs. Whatever. I don't care. The next comment is about you, though. Speaking of old, a TikTok comment under the, under the video where John joked that a 54-year-old was, quote, very old. <laughs> this comment says, really? I'm not 54, by the way, but we are all hopefully going to get 54. And frankly, how come... Your camera is far enough not to show your true face. True face? By Ramon. True face? Okay, well, not to out anybody. True face. But <laughs> John, true you're face. True <laughs> uh, <laughs> every time we do an episode, I'm too close to the camera, and I'm told to get kind of back so I can allow more 
camera room above my head. But if it were up to me, I would be fucking face first in the in that camera's bussy. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. Okay, great. Here's my true Go face. Do you want to see it? Listen, I <laughs> no, have a great. chemical you, peel you a and 50 face. cc's and of you look Botox great for 54. pumped. Freshly pumped. Hey. Hey. The next comment is about me. It's another TikTok comment. Mark talking about Tinder Swindler. Quote, if you dropped being overly dramatic, you could... F- <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fuck you. All right. The next one's about John. <laughs> Whatever. If someone stole $30,000, $25,000 from you, actually with $30,000, you'd be a little dramatic too, motherfucker. All you're doing is there is... Um, I love how I'm the dumb one, but you got Tinder swindled. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at my true face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to read the next one then. TikTok comment about John's top five gay anthem choices. Grandpa, that's you. Forgot Believe by Cher, even though he was 50 when it came out. He should have remembered it. (laughs) That's funny. Um, I prefer the term Granny Smith and How Do You Like Them Apples. I am your grandma. Motorboat me. And everyone can go fuck themselves because I'm actually, even though I'm doing thotty toppies and shit with you, I'm bad at pop culture. I barely watch television. I actually, when I'm not in this John, don't get upset. We got to watch your blood pressure. Uh, my cholesterolsies. <laughs> All right, the next comment is up. on the sword, thesword.com, about Mark using stick figures to block out his scenes. Quote, oh, I loved that. Which is why Mark's porn is so plastic, and he also uses fake gaze. Fake okay, you're going to be very upset, because not only I have a script gaze. right here, not only do I do stick figures, but I map out like what I want my other scenes to look like. So the that. real, the better comment about that, you know, listen up, trolls. The better comment would be like, "He's so old, they're hieroglyphics." Thank you. That's you know, a better read. Like These really get him for read. being as old, cr- but I'm not as old as you. That's true. So, like, when I was a senior in high school, what year were you in? Like a sixth grader. You went to high school. I didn't graduate. All right, next. Okay. Um, the next and last comment is, it's another TikTok one about Gaga being too talented to play Madonna in a bio- bio- biopic, which is what you said, not me. Quote, oh, what yeah, the I fuck is that. your problem with Madonna? Too talented to play Madonna? Please. This is why I supported homophobia sometimes. <laughs> um, all right. Worry more about the filler leaking into your brains than what Gaga and Madge are up to. Hey, you I don't have, have filler, though. I don't have filler. Never have. So what is leaking? Never will. Oh, that's just stupid. That's just being <laughs> dumb. But I will say, if people really want to know what's happening, when we're doing this and we're talking, it's our job to, like, if I go, like, oh, what would, what would like, really be annoying to people if I were, like, I mean, I feel like that was, like, the takeiest take. If you didn't have an opinion. I, right. So I, I, I give an opinion, even though I think it might be, like, annoying. That's our job. I don't give a shit about Madonna or Gaga or anybody in between. I give a shit about one thing, my whoa, true face. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Calm down. All right, John, let's go to some fag mail. What is it called? Okay, What's yeah, let's do it. This is uh, mail fag. All right, questions. Mail, fans oh, like mail bag. In. I get it. Yeah, exactly. Through our Instagram DMs, at DiscadPod. Okay, uh, listen. These are fans have written in these questions, yes. and they're asking us. Yeah, this is I a question from Dawn. D-O-N, not D-A-W-N. My partner and I got together when we were 18. Listen closely, please. My partner and I got together when we were 18, and now we're six years in, engaged, and getting married in two years. I often find I come in ebbs and flows (laughs) when it comes to intimacy. As a young gay, how can you keep your intimacy drive on high, even when life can be hectic? Parentheses, I'm a bottom, so prep is often the hardest when it comes to feeling well to perform in the bedroom, and parentheticals. Any advice is welcomed. Scat. Scat, yeah. Try I don't scat. know. That'll I am spice always, it up. I am in uh, awe of people who can do all that prep. Um, oh, okay, so they've been together for six years, and they started dating when they were 18. So they're 24 now, so that's not Break that up. Old. My advice is break no. up. You're gonna. 
no, don't say that. Let these people live. I, you got to just schedule it. You got to schedule it like anything else. Like you're going to the gym. It's got to do it at a certain time, a certain place. It's not going to happen spontaneous after that many years, but you still need to have that connection. So just schedule it. And that would also help your butthole to be clean. He can get out his little crazy straw and clean you out. And then you guys can go to town. I, there were chunks that came up from my stomach. Mm. Okay. Oh my God. I had a protein waffle and a LaCroix and it's just like mixed with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's a question from someone called Sock. S O C K? That's right. How long does it take okay. to shoot what ends up being a 20 or 30 minute scene, Mark? Five minutes. All right. Here's a question from Kai. No, it um, takes about. So we do six positions and it, it takes. Always it, six? No, it, no, not always six. Sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But you have to think that we also do photos as well. So everyone has to have their solo photos. Everyone has to have duo f- photos, PG and X rated. And then you have to do story. And then you have to have all the pictures for sex. And then you have to have the video for sex. So the pictures are what really slows everything down. Pictures take a longer time. So I, it, it could take anywhere from the shortest that we've ever did it was like two hours to the longest 16 plus. Next question. A uh, question from someone named Kai. Uh, did OnlyFans affect you, the porn industry, or enhance the industry? I think it's like the way I compare it to is like reality TV and a mainstream blockbuster movie. They can both exist. If you want the polished, produced product, you can go see the movie in the theater. If you want something raw and connected to reality, go watch a reality show. So they... You're not going to, neither one of them is going to eat the other one out. (laughs) So to speak. Okay. Question from Albert. Why aren't there any curvy size porn stars or reality stars? Everyone seems to be very fit. I feel like I would toss that back and say there's, there's lots. Just got to look for them. I think they're asking why don't you do porn is the question. That was good. That was good. Good job. Good (laughs) job. Uh, I'm too fat. (laughs) Here's a question from <laughs> here's a question from Sander. How did you get into porn direction and become a reality TV producer? I guess that's for me. Love the pod. Look forward to it every other week on my way into my main oh mainly straight office. Okay, cool. Um, well, you got into porn direction because uh, fucking fat slut, and mm-hmm. I got into reality TV production for the same reason. Now, why did you get into it for real? Um, I had created a show. I had written a movie and I came out here to LA to pitch it around. And the first person I pitched it to, which was uh, the guys at World of Wonder, actually, they said, you know what? This is good, but we could, you could make it as a reality show if you just like cast it and make it documentary style right now. So we made a series that was kind of based on the movie I wrote. So then I just, then I needed to just, I, I just, it led to more jobs and I just kept working in that, in that field. I, I found that my writing and directing amazing skills let, uh, lent themselves to working with real people and not saying like, okay, here's an, you're an actor, memorize these lines. But really I was good at directing normal people, regular everyday people to express themselves in interviews and things like that. Okay. So because you were a fat slut. I was Got a it. Next question. Okay. Here's a question from Johan, my co- aka. I guess I wrote this question. My question is: Have you ever gotten a boner while directing a hot sex scene? I can tell you the answer is no. Mark is famously flaccid at all times. <laughs> it's like the Olympics in my pants. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, we'll do a couple you more don't think of go. your job as sexual. I can't think of my job as sexual, and on a personal level, you think of it as art, and you're creating something. That is not, I also have a lens in between me. It's just, it's not a sexual scenario for me. Uh, what's the real casting process like for gay porn? It's a question from Antonio. It's different from every studio. Some studios, it could be very predatory from what I've heard a lot of guys say this week on our set, not from our company, but another one. Um, and they make you could do all like get on uh, FaceTime and do weird shit. But ours is not, I don't do that at all. Like you look up, there's plenty of pictures out there. You look up Twitter, you use social media a lot for casting now. And you see someone with like a pretty picture or maybe they fall into this nicely. 
I myself don't do casting. We have people that do that. I may send a suggestion here or there, or if I'm writing a story movie, I would say, hey, I want to cast this guy. But casting is it's social media is leaning a lot on social media. And if you ever want to be cast in something, reach out to the studios, reach out to the directors, send us a picture. Um, but, uh, you know, keep it professional. Don't be like, yeah, here's my hole. Isn't it so hot? I'm, that's not going to get... There's a way to... To, to be professional about applying to form and do that way because no one wants to like there's so much skeeziness in the industry already that you really I just find myself overcompensating like doing it really really professional and never on a personal level so the casting processes by some studios can be a bit too personal for my taste so no headshot of the hole got it I'm good 8 by 10 glossy um okay and then what's the most important thing when casting for a reality show looks or personality honestly personality can make anybody look pretty um okay that about wraps it up thanks for all your questions please leave us more i'm into it i like hearing the feedback and we will be right back with some more fans in our q a we'll be right back q and gay yes work it out Welcome back to the show. God, I can't with myself. I'm over myself. Good morning. Welcome back to Discretion Advised. I'm John Hill here with Mark McNamara, the weary, shriveled, former husk shell of what used to be Mark McNamara. Um, gosh, how do I describe what we're doing? We're doing a podcast. Um, You've been and, this epi- <laughs> and this episode, as you know, we should just call it free balling because it's a lot of uh, willy nilly uh, content. And speaking of willy nilly and free balling, we have, uh, Mark's mom here. No, uh, one of our, (laughs) dare I, dare I say fan, Brett, may I call you a fan? Number one fan. I wait for you guys to upload every week, download. Are you a friend of Cameron's? (laughs) Are you hired by Tim? I am not paid for this. Trust me. Uh, let me ask you something before we get started. Where are you, Brett? And is Brett your real name? It is my real name, and I am from Boston. Boston, great. Boston. And what do you do for a living, Brett? I work in retail. Okay, let's guess. Mark, let's guess. Mark, <laughs> are you with us still? Wake up. Get some African coffee. <laughs> I have some Red Bull here. Bitch. <laughs> He's drinking urine. Okay, I guess that you you work retail. I yes. my guess is. Uh, bath and body works. Oh, interesting. You look interesting. like a freezer girl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, Mark, any no. guesses? No. I'm not going to guess because it sounds like he doesn't want to tell us, so leave it Okay, H&M. Alone and move it along. All right. Uh, <laughs> what's on your... You. Okay, tell us. Okay, I work for a company called... It's called Assurian. Oh, Asurian? insurance? Yes, but they own a company called You Break, I Fix. Oh, okay. The phones. I've been to that before. Once yes. uh, I broke someone's phone and I took it there to fix it. Well, so I was hoping I wor- for the gap. But um, <laughs> Brett, what's on your mind today? What do you have? What burning question do you have for I or Mark? Hopefully, well, Mark. I would. Well, I have a couple questions for you guys, and you guys can pitter pack back and forth. But Mark, um, <laughs> based Shoot. on your um, your job. I'm curious to know because I work, you know, in the corporate world, and we're always looking at, you know development learning is there like a porn learning and development like like how to get better at it or like feedback yes and it's actually also called you break i fix oh Um, wonderful it's just about training that hole out now on naked sword originals um but like what was the question again (laughs) yeah do you have a review do you say hey we've been watching your work and here's what you need to do better at I, I was inspired. The question inspired me because you guys did your episode with Cade Maddox, and he alluded. If you haven't listened to it already, you should go listen to what he won't do. Um, Suck but it, he, cock. <laughs> <laughs> and it was interesting to me because you think about in a workplace, you know, when someone says, "Hey, can you do this?" You're like, "Well, that's not really my bandwidth. I haven't learned that, right?" And then they say, "Well, here Love are some ways you can bandwidth. <laughs> you can improve your skills doing this, doing that." Well, Cade um, said he didn't have the throat width, and he thought he looked ugly while he was uh You didn't say ugly. You said the word ugly. He said he didn't look sexy. Sorry. There. I Okay, my but word to would answer be your ugly. question, after each scene, I do yes. talk to the models, and I do give them advice on how to improve and what would make their performance better, because yes. 
I think that everyone needs that. I've been doing this for so long. For sure. it's, it's now 14 years in. So you kind of see what works and what doesn't. Because what you're filming and what you're there in present, it, it, it's very different than what comes out as a scene. Sometimes right. when I'm filming and I'm like, oh, my God, this is really the worst scene ever. It will edit together together to be the best. So you just kind of like tap into that performer, like how you how you give what am I trying to say here? I'm really tired is what I'm trying to say here. But you work with what they have. You yeah. play to their skill that, set. You, yeah, but sometimes people don't know. They they step in on set and they just are going to have sex. And they are not. Like, that's not what we're looking to film. We're looking to film Correct. a performance. So you need to be vocal. You need to say your words. Moans and groans are great, but words are even better. Because guess what? Blind people watch porn too. So narrate what's happening and kind of give the audience a journey so they can fantasize that they're there. Because that's what we're doing. We're, we're making a fantasy. Great. Now... My question for John is, which Bravo celebrity would you like to see do porn, male or female? I love that question. That's such a good question. Let's see. I'm going to pick two. Okay. I'm going to say, do they have to be currently on a Bravo show? It can be anywhere across the Bravo universe. Obviously, I would like to see Jax Taylor in a sling. Oh. Just because right. I feel like it's <laughs> like... okay. Uh, what's it called? Um, a calling that he has not uh, acted on Am- yet. It's just answered. meant to be. Um, I also think, actually, a, fan, a friend of show, Tamara, Tamara Judge, would be a cock-destroying mm. uh, A-plus porn those star. Are good, those are good choices. Am I right, Mark? Well, would you like to see them have sex together? Sure. Oh. All right. I don't. No, 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 I'm not up for that. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see um, Vicky Gumbelson getting railed by Reza. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, mm. when, see, John, you, those are the specifics we need. Okay. Can't just go railed by person. Reza. The next naked sword. Railed it. by Reza. Film number nine in the Swords tri- uh, anthology. Bless. Um, All right. Br- okay. Uh, Brett, where can people find you? You can find me at Bravo by Brett. That is me on Instagram, Twitter, anywhere. It's fun times. Thank Did you listen, so much for being here. Have a good here. day today. We love Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, hopefully my tired ass answers something like that. And if you have any questions, make sure you could DM us at DiscadPod or at or ask at discadpod.com. God, what are we calling it? Our fan segment. It feels like we shouldn't Q&A. say fan because these Q&A, are our friends. Yes, they yeah, are. Yeah, Q and gay. All right. Well, our next one. Uh, a queen is joining us. A true queen. Kenyatta Brown. Hi. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for having me. Where are you, Kenyatta? so exciting. I'm in Stafford, Virginia. Originally from Louisiana. Love it. So let and me so ask you a listen question. to the podcast. Oh, yes, I do. Who's better, me or Mark? Who do you like more? Who would you rather see naked? (laughs) You. Okay, great. Thanks. Correct answer. (laughs) All right, Mark, go ahead. You may ask your question now. No, I'm not here. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, go ahead. Shoot, shoot, Kenyatta. What would you like to ask John? Oh, God. I don't even know because I feel like I'm getting to know John in his natural habitat, and I am so here for it. No, like you are so different than you are on Radio Andy, and this podcast has just shed light on Ooh. you. Am I good or a bad way? way? Is How is he different? In the best way. I don't know. Okay. He seems more open and more free with information. I would oh, say. This is well, terrible. I am in my natural <laughs> habitat, and I did want to say, just pulling the pulling back the fourth wall or whatever. I think my poverty fridge is making noise. Cameron, <laughs> would you like me to unplug it? I also have a white fridge, okay. so I get it. Yeah, white fridge hive, rise up. Um, okay, I like that feedback. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to continue to be open, and uh, I have to give credit to my co-host, Mark McNamara, who I feel very comfortable with. I feel like we're, you know, always... <laughs> Shut up. What's your question? <laughs> <laughs> I feel my question is was so basic, but the first thing that came to my head is, uh, obviously, I love gay porn. I watch it all the time. And I know a lot of women watch it. And I always want to know if the people that make it think about women when or their women audience when they're making porn. I'm pretty sure you don't. But I feel like I thought I'd ask anyway. And if you don't think about us, like, have you ever talked about 
the stuff you make or the stuff that women watch with your women friends? Yes, I don't know if I if my honest answer is that I think about a gender when I think about the audience. I think about what it looks sexy and what if if we're dealing with a certain model, what on that model's body is their key points? What is sexy about that model? And then we try to capture that. We try to do a position that captures that. So I'm not sure if gender comes into play when I think about the audience. I just think about the model in, gen- in general. But I want to I want to shoot this back at you. What as a woman do you find more attractive about gay porn than hetero porn? I can't do it. Like, oh, like aspirational. Yeah, like I can't. I like watching stuff that I'm not. That's what intrigued me, honestly, about like because I read gay stories, I write gay stories, and I always am fascinated by stuff that I am not capable of doing because it's more fun to explore. I think in my head. So, uh, and plus it's hot. It's just hot. <laughs> now, what don't you like? Like, what is where in gay porn do you draw the line? Where it's like that's not for me. I don't find that sexy. Uh, usually it's the hardcore stuff that involves devices, like, mm-hmm. like the urethra stuff or Sounding. any of, yeah, I'm not into that part, but I like a wide yeah, variety. Franklin. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, and Mark, is there generally a consensus of, uh, uh, about, among women viewers, uh, if they like oral or anal or kissing or slapping or, you know, is there any like one category that women respond to that you know of? I don't know. I, I don't know about the category wise. I just think it's a respect thing where if I watch and this is just is just a stereotype. This is not saying that every studio or company does this, but it just seems like the pairings and the partnerships or maybe the fantasy is not so much based in like a respect. And I feel like sometimes people are taken advantage of um, and I like that kind of grosses me out. So I think that gay porn you when you're watching two men, you feel it's more consensual. Is that being stereotypical or gen? What is it, genderist? But I don't know. But <laughs> genderist. <laughs> I'm a genderist. Sure. No, I, mean, I get I what you're trying women, to say. Though. Women are the get better uh, gender for sure. But I think gay porn is just a different presentation of sex than straight porn. Hmm. In Not terms always. of just pornography. Okay, uh, interesting. You hate me. Go back to John. <laughs> yeah, Kenyatta hates you. Um, Kenyatta, where can people find you? Uh, they don't need to find me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, cut me out of this episode. I don't even know if I want people to find me. But I have well, to say, I'm like, I, I like more amateur stuff, not so much the studio stuff. But I have been looking up your stuff just because I'm curious to see what you make. And, you know, because I hear you talk about your process and what you like to shoot and stuff. So I'm really fascinated by what that looks like on screen. So I'm, I'm kind of Mark's like the Michael Bay of gay porn. It's big. That, that it's is flashy. A, that is not a sexy. compliment. Sure it is. It's <laughs> no, it's not. We just talked about how much we hated Michael Bay in a stupid ambulance movie. The movie was bad. I like Michael Bay. I don't like Armageddon, Michael Bay, Transformers, Bumblebee, Michael Bay, no, not Bumblebee. Thank okay, you. Yeah. Well, Thank you, Kenyatta. <laughs> Love you, Kenyatta. Thank you for calling in. Thank you, guys. Okay, we are going to be... Okay, Okay. yes. We, we are going to see you later. Hold on. Okay, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that you can watch the full podcast and subscribe to our newsletter over at discadpod.com. And make sure you're following us on all the socials. We're at discadpod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. That's D-I-S-C-A-D-P-O-D. Mark, see you back Oh my God, the next time we talk, I'm going to be in the United States. I'm so happy to go home. Thank God. (sighs) Bye, guys. Bye.